Uh, Nigeria's political and traditional leadership are facing challenges due to lack of patriotism. According to Professor Benedita Egbo, at University of uh, Windsor, Canada, Professor and Presidential Candidate for the 2020 elections on the, the National Rescue Movement, Egbo argues that corruption is the root cause of Nigeria's problems. As endemic and as problematic as corruption is, I beg to differ from majority opinion. Rather, I would argue that Nigeria's major problem is lack of patriotism, or what I would at some times refer to as civic infidelity, infidelity to country and to the aspirations of the country. She, however, made some far-reaching recommendations to solve the social, economic, and political issues in the country. Nigerians also understand that the country's welcome world is not a personal asset to be converted to private use. Similarly, patriots do not exploit demographic differences or, in simple terms, our diversity. They do not exploit it based on primordial sentiments and loyalties. Rather, patriots unite, build bridges of peace and national uh, development for the common good. And that is what this gathering, this annual lecture is all about. Uh, most many husbands agree to release their wives to serve uh, the community. But uh, our friend and brother uh, did so gladly and happily uh, to enable us to be able to discover the great potential that his wife has. And as you will see today, you will agree with me that uh, she is um, a reservoir of knowledge, experience, and wisdom, and intellect. Now, the Kenyan speaker, Professor Adele, did not explain the importance of education and the need to remove all forms of colonial mentality that must be enshrined in the educational system of the country. The pedagogy of our educational system must focus on the enabling dimension of education as normal preparation for the future, not just to see office. And I think it's because of this development of education that we have become more or less a prisoner to materialism. And I think if we are going to move forward, we must rethink that whole basis of education which has been mentioned. Education will be part of that process of recolonization and rebuilding, but not just for our own sake as Africans, but for the sake of the world itself. That when we know we have been so the rest are soon. And our duty is not simply to limit ourselves, but to limit the rest of them as well by focusing on the core human values. Uh, exemplary education and leadership proudness uh, were further alighted by guests at the occasion. We've known how to be someone that has continued to contribute to ed educational reforms. And when will we be needing more than educational reforms? at times like this someone who continues to contribute to social development reforms in the entire country not just limiting it to any region or any part of the country but all across her efforts at contributing to developmental needs of the country is one among so many the theme of today's lecture reclaiming nigeria's future strategic framework for achieving transformative change encapsulate the urgency and importance of our nation in the uh, president ahmed's wala Trimble's administration as we confront the many challenges facing our nation from socio-economic disparities to security threats we must adopt strategic framework that not only address immediate concern but also pave the way for sustainable and inclusive development for all. It was launched afterwards in honor 
of one who liked to describe herself as a pragmatist and a believer of a great and prosperous Nigeria.